Hello and welcome to MCC TV International Show. My name is John David. I'm the Business Department Coordinator. I teach Economics and Statistics. And also, I'm the host for this show. Uh, as usual, as I always say, every show is different. Every show uh, has original ideas behind it. And I'm sure today's show, our producer, Chad Bishop, going to really like a lot because Chad into sport, into lifting weights, into exercising and living the what I call the dream of being healthy and, and, and uh, do all this healthy stuff. So today, uh, one of our students here at MCC, he is a martial uh, or mixed martial art champion will be with us. Uh, it is an honor for me to introduce Ryan Turner. Ryan, how are you today? Uh, really good, John. Good, good uh, to have you with us today. I'm very happy, first of all, to have you here to talk about uh, something that uh, you really, really value and uh, you do, and you do because you want to become a better person because you believe that sport can make people definitely a better people and better person. So, but before, of, obviously, we start talking about this, I would like to ask you to introduce yourself, please. Well, like you said, I, my name is Ryan Turner. I'm from Muscatine Community College uh, area. Muscatine is my place of residency now. Uh, I've lived here most of my life. Uh, I currently moved back from, to the area from Davenport, and I was attending Scott Community College up there. Uh, I do look at myself as a champion. Uh, so as you made the announcement, you added champion in that mix. And I, I never once said I was a champion. However, I like, I like to look at my life and the lifestyle of Indian, any individual chasing a better lifestyle as a champion. You know, we're Thank all champions. You. And exactly. So a champion always, each one of us, when we do something that can change others or change us, as people, yes, we are champions in doing whatever we are That's doing. Correct. So yes, welcome, welcome again to the show. And what I would like to do is, uh, uh, first of all, would like to go back. Uh, growing up, um, tell us something about Ryan. Growing up, well, I could tell you that uh, I was always uh, a go-getter, rambunctious. Uh, I had a creative uh, lifestyle growing up. Uh, I adapted to change. Uh, quite often because there was so much change going on in my life. Uh, I wasn't uh, unfamiliar to uh, the sports world because I learned martial arts at a young age. Uh, How I, young? Uh, well, I'd say about eight years old I started fighting. I, I have brothers and sisters as well, seven of them, uh, cousins, uh, large family. My uncle Eugene Soto taught down here in this area, Taekwondo, um, and so we had cousins that trained under his... So it's in the family. Yes, that's correct. <laughs> uh, so many years of it, uh, practicing, playing, enjoying life. Uh, that's a little about my, my childhood. That's, that's what I enjoyed most was growing up with my family and my friends. Okay. And, and, and when we say that, we, I remember when I spoke to you, you said uh, your specialty is more like in, in a mixed martial arts. So for our audience, mm -hmm. uh, so to understand exactly what we mean, you know, I always hear martial arts. I never heard mixed martial arts. Can we just give our audience some idea about what you mean by that? Well, uh, mixed martial arts itself is uh, different forms uh, mixed together in a melting pot to bring out a fighter uh, in an individual. Um, not everybody is a fighter because each of us have different responses. Some of us have them flight responses which say, hey, let's leave this situation or avoid it altogether. Uh, I myself, I label myself as a fighter. I declare myself a warrior. Uh, I fought in cages. I'll continue to fight in cages if need be. Uh, I've learned to defend myself at a young age, and therefore I declare myself a champion. Um, however, uh, if somebody asks me what ma martial arts form I've learned or have adapted to, I say, again, a melting pot. Um, I've taken styles, learned, uh, and I <coughs> adapt in every situation. I've done kickboxing, uh, grappling, Brazilian jiu-jitsu, wrestling, judo, where most throws are, are, are placed in the mix rather than um, uh, striking and performing with uh, blunt uh, pr uh, tactic. And, 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 and I just want to understand that mm -hmm. and also for our audience sake to understand also that. You know, for example, if we talk about uh, 
basketball okay. as a sport, you have rules to yeah. follow. If you, have, if you are talking about football, you have rules to follow. If you talk about martial arts, I assume you have rules to follow too. Yes, but when right. you mix two or three different types of sport together to come up with a new form, what kind of rules do you follow? in this case. And so is there like a special rule for that? Uh, I'd say it's according to every uh, card you're fighting under. Um, I consider myself an amateur mixed martial artist. Uh, I compete with a lot of individuals out there in the field pursuing careers in this. Uh, <coughs> don't get me wrong, I don't do this for fun. I love the sport. I do it for the pay, I do it for the money. So I'm gonna show up on time. I'm gonna put forth the effort to learn my craft, hone my craft challenge with the best, work out, you know, I stay motivated mentally, physically, spiritually, I'm trying to be indomitable, you know, I'm trying to do whatever it takes in order to achieve more or a greater purpose. I believe that's what every individual is set here to do. That is true. And I see like you have on the table here, you have some gears here that you wear, so give us an idea about that. Uh, so. when, when I'm sparring or I'm out with an individual trying to hone, hone a craft, and I, I practice uh, deterrence a whole lot, um, trying to avoid a punch, trying to tuck and uh, dodge those punches. Um, sometimes we utilize these in kickboxing because uh, we don't have which, the open finger gloves. Uh, these are closed fingers and these are actually lighter than the gloves I wore in most of my competitions. Um, okay. I use lighter gloves in order to uh, still have some weight on my, on my hands as I'm trying to uh, get that workout, that burn, um, burn calories, uh, burn energy, um, you know, get my joints lubricated and up and moving, head protection. Uh, as you can tell, um, I'm pretty intelligent. Uh, I'm not ignorant. Coming to college is definitely a good choice. I want to protect that, you know. Yeah. So getting good grades is one way, but wearing good protective headgear is another way, the best way. Excellent. Well, how, how many, I mean, you, you talk about practicing. Mm -hmm. Well, how many hours do you practice a day, in a week? Uh, is that something that you do daily? Is that something you do weekly? I mean, give us a small idea, please. Uh, with myself, uh, practicing can be done every day, all day. Wherever you're at, whatever you're doing, at any moment. Well, how do you practice on, on, on your own? Uh, well, I use, depending on uh, what situation, I mean, I just recently laid fence. Um, moving and tawning fence has to be done correctly and it, it builds certain stamina in certain areas um, such as squat. So uh, I believe if you utilize every movement that you could start tuning yourself to adapt to those movements at will, um, it creates sort of a spring in your, your jump. And so while I'm out there working and I'm moving in everyday motion, uh, I'm also creating uh, a common routine and my body's adapting to that. And so I'm, I'm becoming aware of what's next. I'm, I'm ready to adapt to it, uh, carrying bags, working out with those. But I, I mainly do um, you know, m full body mo movements. I lubricate my system. Uh, I, I try to understand why they move in that direction. Uh, my workout routines, you know, I, I don't do a lot of running because I like them short distant sprint run, you know, runs or bursts of energy. Um, uh, I don't do uh, a lot of heavy bags because I prefer to use uh, the heavy bags I lift from concrete moving or, um, uh, you know, because I do a lot of projects around the community uh, at home uh, with family and friends. Uh, and so I use, use these as a, as a way of making me more stronger. Uh, but the, the biggest hurdles is the, the mental, you know, saying, hey, uh, you're, you want to do something, how do you do it, where do you go, and who do you get with? Uh, I'm currently in the process of looking for cornermen that are willing to uh, step up, being new to this area. Uh, I now have to have cornermen that are closer to me. Um, I have uh, a gym that I've been practicing with, and so uh, I go there at least once a week. Uh, we train the River Bottom Boys is uh, a label they've been carrying for for a while. Uh, I, I meet with uh, people that that are associated with mixed martial arts, um, other fighters 
to um, tell me about other ongoing events. Is it, Ryan, let me just, uh, and I'm not trying to interrupt that, but, but just to understand, do we have a good number of people here in Muscatine that practice that kind of uh, sport, or, or we have few? Well, that's a good question. Uh, what I'd say is uh, you'd have to ask the community, and this being a, a great project for Muscatine Community College, um, getting that out there in the community and asking who's all out there to come together. You know, um, I'd like to start a group here on campus where we focus on uh, training and not not hurting yourselves, but you know, proper training, um, not just uh, working out at, with weights and dumbbells. Um, mm -hmm. I, I'm not too much into that myself. Uh, you know, I don't mind, uh, you know, putting on the gloves or uh, doing some sparring sessions or grappling, whatever's whatever's in a person's technique or daily habit they want to practice. Um, yeah, when you say grappling, I, I heard that a couple times. Yeah, that term. a lot of people use it. Describe that, please, for us. I mean, what is it? Uh, well, grappling is something that uh, has been around for a long time, depending on what art form you want to go with, but. Um, with the Brazilian Jiu Jitsu uh, that I practice, uh, most of that was uh, hands on. Uh, we didn't focus a lot on the strikes, we focused on the grasping and the grappling mm -hmm. uh, of individuals and the holds and the locks. And uh, I've also studied, um, you know, acupuncture, uh, compression points, um, a wide variety of different techniques. Uh, but grappling, you always go back to most fights, if they're not mandatory stand up, go to the ground. And okay. grappling, if you go to the ground, then you better be sure that you're able to, to hold your own while on the ground. Yeah, okay. Well, uh, the other thing is, and you brought up a nice point as you were talking about uh, this form of uh, sport, that uh, you would like to see something like that at MCC. Certainly. And, um, and I'm, I'm sure, you know, most probably, as I mentioned before, uh, our producer, Chad Bishop, is in charge with the intramurals here at MCC. And I'm sure most probably he's listening to you talking about that, and most probably he's very happy to, to know that you, you will be willing to do something like that and, and, and work with him on something like that. So let's, let's hope that you and Chad get together at some point, and hopefully sure. you, you, you will start talking about, well, how you you know bring something like that as an also opportunity for our students to participate in and be part of, and learn that kind or that form of sport. So I'm, I'm glad to hear all that, because I myself learning a lot about that, because you know I, you know, I grew up uh, knowing my brother, who is a year and a half older than me, he, he he started around age seven, eight, the same thing, playing karate. Uh, and, and that, you know, he kept going all the way up until he got his uh, black belt uh, in karate. I never acquired, you know, to learn that, that kind, but I watched him doing that. But I never understood too many things that you, you end up doing in, in a kind of sport or martial art sport like that, which I'm learning now as we are talking about that. Well, what else you would like to share with us growing up before we go into some pictures uh, that we have to talk about and then move back to MCC? Well, there's been a lot of growth here in Muscatine, and it's wonderful being back here, uh, seeing, seeing the faces of the people I've grown up with or people I've associated with growing up is wonderful, and seeing where they, they are now and what they've become. Uh, a lot of them have children of their own. Um, you know, I just want to give a shout out to those from Muscatine and all my friends and family because it's it's wonderful being back in Muscatine. Well, sure. We are glad that you are back in Muscatine, and we are also glad that you are back in at MCC because I remember Ryan, you took class with me. I don't remember how many years ago, and now you are back in my classes again this semester. So I'm very honored to have you with us. So I know now our our producer has some pictures, uh, Chad. Uh, that soon he will start rolling uh, on the camera for our audience to see. And as we start, and I see now the first one now, so as we start seeing pictures here, if you can just tell us something about those pictures that we see on the screen. Well, I, I'd call that picture there a gathering of warriors. Uh, and the reason I say that is because each individual there 
is there to compete. Uh, they're competing for their moment on the stage, and in the front is Chad which I, with Iowa Challenge, and uh, Matt Ryder, um, who's also present. Uh, you can't see him too well, but he, these are the hosts of this, uh, this card that we're competing at, and this was in Iowa City uh, kickboxing competition. Uh, the ones in red uh, are led by the individual in black and gold. Uh, they're they're, uh, they're uh, a gym, and so they're organized. Uh, they're all like a family, I'd say. Uh, and the other guys, a lot of them are individual. I was there by myself at this competition. Um, wow. But that's what that picture entails, a, a gathering of warriors ready to uh -huh. hear the rules like you were asking about. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of specifics with mixed martial arts. You don't... Yeah, of course, you got to wear gloves, uh, and then they say that you can wear headgear or not have headgear. Uh, I, I usually go with no headgear because it's a lot funner. Um, and then on top of that, no elbows. Uh, you have to win, wear shin guards in here. Uh, no striking an individual while they're on the ground. Uh, no tossing an individual to the ground. So there's no grappling, no holding. Yeah. Um, so that, that's what's going on there. This was a competition in uh, Fairfield. Uh, that individual standing next to me is Patrick Martin. Uh, he was there to compete, but his opponent didn't show up. But you could tell by my bruises on my head that my opponent did show up. Uh, we did have a, a, a fight. Um, I ended up losing in this one. Uh, however, uh, bumps and scrapes don't mean that uh, you really lost because, you know, I earned a loss and I gained a win, you know. Um, I overcame my fear, I was able to get in the, in the ring, and I met wonderful people at this competition, people that are now lifelong friends. Um, we created a bond together based on uh, us being warriors, fighters in this competition. Yeah. Excellent. <laughs> now, yeah, that's me. Uh, this was Iowa City, this was kickboxing. You can tell by the gloves. Um, I, I like the open fingers. Uh, you know, having my, being able to grab an individual. Uh, this is my first competition in the kickboxing. Uh, you're able to view it on YouTube if you're, you're interested, but uh, the photographer actually caught this moment, uh, I think around the second round. Uh, you'd be able to tell by the footage. Oh. Wow. Uh, this again is Iowa City. Uh, this is, uh, a fight in round two, same evening. <coughs> I'd say de I'm definitely focused there. Um, I can was, tell. <laughs> yeah, this, this was feel yeah. the feel the feel the pain. Wagner, uh, great guy. I met him. His family was there that evening. Uh, a kid, uh, his son was there, it, and so it was his his birthday actually that day. Uh, so uh, early Christmas or early uh, birthday present. Uh, he won, uh, it went to scorecard. Uh, I think it was 28-30, I mean, hell of a fighter though. Mm -hmm. um, uh, this was the same match from previous. Um, this individual is the wild child. Um, yeah, uh, I learned, I think this was one of my first matches, one of my first competitions. Uh, I went in with uh, out of mouth guard. So I spent a lot of time protecting my mouth so I didn't lose it. That's why the top of my head, <laughs> so the yeah. top of my head got lumped up like that. Yeah. But afterwards, you know, uh, some people go to the hospital or they're knocked out or they're, they've got some kind of broken or cut necessity that needs to be doctored and they leave. It's wonderful to see a picture like this because you've got an individual standing next to the guy he competed with and both of them are Definitely saying, hey, we got some trophies to go home with. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is another picture in Iowa City kickboxing. Uh, this actually caught me at a, at a weird moment because um, I, I went up from 155 where I fought in uh, comfortably to 165 to see if I could compete with the bigger guys. Uh, so this was my first kickboxing. Uh, I went into the ring. This guy came at me wildly. He was throwing hellmakers. He was trying to knock me out, and he was gonna if I didn't defend properly. You can watch it on YouTube, uh, Ryan Turner for sure. But uh, 
here, his corner, uh, I didn't have my cornermen there uh, this evening, but uh, his corner yelled, uh, get him, he, he's done, you know, and I was like, no, I want some more, and I remember <laughs> dropping my hands <laughs> saying I wanted some more, you know, and that's the fun part about it is uh, you're there for, for the entertainment, but uh, you're also there for the money. Uh, if I could put on a show, then there's going to be individuals that are going to be looking to uh, pick up a guy like me. You yeah. know, I'll show up on time. I've got a yeah. good history, good track record. So I love the sport. Yeah. Wow. That's that's really amazing. You know, I'm I'm hoping that our audience enjoyed the uh, pictures that we shared with them and the information also that you shared with them. Um, I'm, 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 I'm glad uh, that you're telling your story. I'm glad that you're sharing the, your story with uh, all of us, the audience also. And, uh, and uh, I'm myself learning uh, from you too. Uh, Ryan, uh, let's talk about MCC. You are at MCC again. Now, uh, you're taking classes. Uh, tell us some, give us some idea about uh, what kind of degree are you working for? What major, what classes are you taking, and why? Okay, yeah, that's a wonderful question. Uh, well, uh, I had come back to Muscatine because my grandmother had gotten ill, um, and I had chose Muscatine to come back to because I originally want to start a uh, mattress factory here in the community. So that takes an education, that takes com communication, that takes networking, that takes uh, a lot of effort and so um, I'm just passing through Muscatine Community College because once I'm done here I'm going to be transferring to St. Ambrose mm -hmm. uh, that's in the Quad Cities uh, where I'm seeking a, a major in business um, once receiving that that business major um, I'm hoping to uh, start a, a business here uh, in Muscatine uh, however uh, we are doing some projects with uh, one of my classes uh, is giving me opportunity to actually start a business. It's a small taco business, but um, I'm quite proud of it because we've got a wonderful group in my class, and uh, my my teacher is wonderful too. It just happens to be you. So, um, and you know, this learning environment down here is so much better than some of the places I've been. And, and how do you think, like working on this project in the economics class, mm -hmm. uh, going to teach you how? to really establish that business or give you at least the base in the future to, of establishing that business? Well, that, that's a great question. Uh, right now I'm experimenting with communication and network with whoever you're bringing on to the business. Um, I think any successful business you need to create a team. Uh, people that are going to be there with you and are going for the same goal that you have. Uh, being in this class, each individual that's in there is striving to have a better grade and to know a little bit about economics. Um, the small aspect is that business is a great part, or a big part of economics and uh, in order to sustain a community you have to have businesses. Um, I've chose to join this group and we're ch we chose to sell tacos. Uh, selling tacos is going to show me uh, who out in the community I could talk to. Um, perhaps uh, where to get assistance um, starting up because we're definitely going to need um, information or assistance with that uh, and then uh, practicing communicating with um, the people I'm trying to help or provide a service to uh, because right now is a wonderful opportunity for me to serve my, co my community and I plan to stay in the community we just bought a house here so I plan to stay here for at least eight years. Well, that's good. Well, glad to have you with us. So you are talking about learning uh, through doing mm -hmm. uh, things. So not just you know what's in the textbook. Uh, so what else? What do you? Uh, let, let, let me back up a little bit and say this. Uh, what do you enjoy the most about your life, and what do you don't like about? Uh, well, what do I enjoy most about my life? I enjoy my direction. Uh, I have a plan, and it's not for a year, but it's a three-year plan. And I've set it out, and it's in motion. Um, I have a great spirit. Spiritual connection is something that I believe 
has kept me afire, kept me going, kept me moving, kept me wanting to be in places where I'm not commonly going. You know, I, this is all new to me. I'm, I'm jumping out here because that spirit says, hey, move, and this is the direction you need to be. Um, and so it's, it's, that, that's how I'm going to do it, and that's what I love about my life now. Um, what I don't like about my life is uh, being patient, uh, standing still and waiting on things to happen. Um, those are things that a lot of us have, you know, dislikes for. And that's one thing going on in my life right now. That's good. You know, it's a great story, uh, Ryan. I, I'm, I'm, I'm glad that, uh, uh, well, here talking about that, Thank talking you, about your achievement, talking about uh, the changes in your life uh, throughout the different stages. Um, MCC, what else that you would like to say about MCC uh, in terms of, you know, we talk about the class, so what else? I mean, how do you feel like when you're around here, uh, your involvement, are you involved with anything? So, so okay. what does MCC means to you? Oh, woo. MCC means a whole lot to me. Um, I've, I've dedicated my time to this school. Um, I'm not doing super marvelous in my classes, however, through my dedication and going to uh, tutors, because I, I utilize all the resources around me. Um, I'm not the most intelligent individual, however, I say when... But you, when are, you are, because you are doing a great thing. Okay, so, well, I appreciate so, that. Thank you very much. Yeah, and, you're welcome. Uh, yeah. I, I definitely want to want to say the Student Senate and with, with the new uh, president that came on and your service to the community, I, I've seen so many changes that are beneficial to Muscatine Community College, um, and I hope that they further these projects, such as this program here uh, with the international TV and getting uh, Muscatine out there, especially the college, because... Uh, with their play programs and all the things Mr. Bishop's doing with the uh, intramural programs. Um, I mean, shout out to the, the boot camp, uh, great workout program. I've seen it in action. If I, could, if I could get that time to come down and do those workouts, you know, no excuse intended, but <laughs> yeah, I tell you. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad to hear that. I'm glad that, and those are the things that uh, our community might be aware of or might not be. And, and that's why we always say, you know, part of our name is community. Yes. Muscatine Community College. There's a reason why community is part of our name. But I'm glad, I'm glad to have you on the show, uh, Ryan. But before, obviously, before we end the show, I would like to give you uh, one to two minutes uh, to say whatever you would like to say that perhaps maybe we didn't talk about, we didn't cover during our discussion here. And uh, yeah, so, so it's your time, whatever you would like to say. Well, I'd like to say thank you, John, for having me on the show. Um, and thank you to Muscatine Community College for supporting such a, a great program as this. Um, I'd also like to thank uh, individuals out there in the community they have assisted in you know, edifying me, building me up, uh, my, the, the fighters out there in the community. A shout out to my cornerman, Ryan Bird, uh, girlfriends and family and friends. You know, I think this is a wonderful opportunity for everybody in the community who's related to me or knows me to come get involved. Uh, if you can't get involved with this program, one of the wonderful programs that are going on with the uh, boot camp, um, uh, student senate, uh, shout out to Tyler, uh, one of my business partners on our group project. Uh, he's our student senate president, uh, doing a wonderful job. He, you know, he's keeping me uh, updated. And anybody else who got some questions, could definitely ask him. Um, yeah, I'm just seeing so much change in Muscatine. I'm grateful to be here. Thank you, and we're very grateful to have you with us also today on this show, and also at MCC as. Uh, one of our students. So uh, thanks for watching. As I always say, um, every show is a different show. And for that reason, I would say if you have any question and all comments, you can call me at 563-288-6064, or you can email me at jdebeat at eicc.edu. Till next time, Muscatine. Bye-bye. <laughs>